Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Crashy, and today we're going to be diving into <laughs> this really janky looking image that you got here. Um, this is my version of a rank, like rework, or like how I would fix ranked. So I realize that I get asked all the time, you know, because I talk about how much I don't like the ranked mode, I think it's bad, I think it's really bad, and what would I do to fix it? And I talk about it all the time, but I realize I've never made it a video. So last night on stream we were talking about it. And I made like a rough version of this and then I cleaned it up today and actually made it a little bit more digestible. So I want to explain to you what we're looking at here and I'm going to explain to you how my version of a ranked mode would work and why I think it would be good because I think this is a good video and I want to know your thoughts in the comments. So drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. So let's take a look at it. I know my webcam is blocking the beginner rank image, but I don't really have anywhere else to be. So <laughs> whatever, you're not missing anything. So the basis of this is that we would have two ranked modes kind of maybe I don't know solo duo queue and team queue this is incredibly important we currently have a leaderboard that is dominated by teams rightfully so they're working hard they're they're winning a lot and that's totally fine with me but when you're a solo duo queue player it kind of like for lack of a better term ruins the ranked mode for you there's nothing to really go after i can't catch up to 2400 rating players like i can't i can't do it it would take me forever or i would have to play as a team um so you know, the solution isn't just to go out and find a team myself, although albeit that is a decent solution, uh, it would be better for them to have a playing field for everyone. And a lot of people, the majority of players, are probably solo duo players. So solo duo queue only, team queue only, would be the first thing that I want to start with. Now, let's talk about the matchmaking. I wrote at the top, plus or minus one full rank for matchmaking. So these little red brackets right here, that's what that's supposed to indicate. If you want to make a match, I'll even do, I'll do a little bit of illustrating because why not? If, if the game, if the matchmaker wants to make a match, boom, this is one full bracket. And like that's one for anybody within that full range right there, that can be in a match. I'd be cool with that. So same thing. Boom. One full match here. No more of this. No more of that. No more of this. No more of that. We're going to do one rank bracket. Even something like this would be good for Q times for master players. Um, but realistically, this is my matchmaking. One, one full rank. Now, if you notice, I do have the little diamonds on the screen. You can see them, you know, little crappy arrow. Um, I want to move every single rank to five classes. Now, the whole point of this rank system that I want to see is I want the rank system to be harder. I'm, I'm using air quotes, harder, which to me means it just takes more time, takes more consistency, takes more of an effort to climb through the ranking system. I think that if you have a ranking system that's too easy to get through paired with bad matchmaking, it just messes up everything. It just makes this weird mosh pit of just weird skill ranges all over the place. And that's exactly what we have now. So in my ranking system, we would have one rank plus or minus for full uh, for matchmaking. Uh, we would have five classes per, so you have to get through all five. And then this section right here, these little brackets, best of three promos between the games. So when you win, like let's say you start at bottom and beginner, you have no diamonds or one star or whatever it is. You make it all the way to the five stars and then boom, it kicks you into a promo series. So now it gives you three games, best of three promo. You have to win two of them to promo up. If you win one, lose one, you got to win that third one to promo. Otherwise, it kicks you back down and it'll take like however many games you lost. It'll take that one diamond away from you, that one little star. Um, if you win two games in a row, boom, you're instantly up into, uh, you know, the next rank. This gives the feeling of like severity. It, it gives the feeling of like importance and it also makes the system a little bit harder. Again, a big goal of making a rank system for me is to make it harder, make it prestigious, make it, you have to truly earn it. And when you have a system that's harder, requires more time, that makes the players have to be more consistent over most of their games and you tighten in the matchmaking, you really pull it all in. It makes the system way more accurate, way, way more accurate. Now let's move into the master's rank. Um, so let's say, you know, you win your, your five games in ultra or your five. It's really, it's, it's the five classes. It's not five games, but you get my point. You win through your classes, you get up to your promo series, you win your best of three promo series. Nice. You have made it to Masters. Well, once you're in Masters, you're going to start with 100 points, not 1,200. And 
I want this system to be in place where you have to climb, you have to you have to get up into the ranks, not just be thrown into the ranks and have no way of losing it. The way that it is now, when you start at 1200 points, it's pretty impossible to fall out of Masters. Well, literally it's impossible to fall out of Masters, which is a problem. Uh, you should be able to derank from every single rank in the entire game. That's the whole point. It's about being consistent and about performing well. And I want the system to be roughly like a plus or minus 10 points per win loss with multipliers. Now I'm not gonna go into that whole thing, but basically there's like averages behind the scenes, hidden in more values, and the team that has a higher probability to win, when they win, they should get like a little bit of a multiplier, and when they lose, the other team should get a nice multiplier. It's like if, if one team, if team A was supposed to lose that game probability-wise based on their average ranking, then if they win that game, they should get a nice little boost. So like roughly plus or minus 10 points, and then when you win, a nice little multiplier. I don't know, plus five, minus five, I don't know, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, you'll start at 100 points, and then we'll have Rank Decay. Now here's the thing, I'm a little on the fence about Rank Decay, we talked about this a little bit last night on stream. I don't know if there's a better system here, it's just something that I'm thinking of now. But Rank Decay essentially allows for, it, it, what it does is it stops players from hitting the highest rank and then just sitting there and not moving because the game will change, patches will happen, um, some players will just naturally perform well and or stop performing well, and if you can just hit Masters and sit there and then randomly you just queue into a game and you haven't played for six months, well, I mean, obviously six months is too long, but you get my point, you haven't played for a month, that's not good. So what I would say is rank decay is minus 10 points per day that you don't play. So if you play and you lose 10 points or you you know go positive 20, no big deal. But if you like, if you say you take a week off, you're going to lose like 70 points. And I know people are going to say, well, like, what about if I have vacation and stuff? It's like, I, I get that, but we all have those little things, right? And also, this is technically a mobile game. So like, I don't know if that argument holds up, right? I don't know. It's not like I want to run around playing on my Switch in handheld mode but, or on my phone, but just saying it's possible. So this is kind of the system. I want to emphasize a few things. I think that it's important that we have a solo duo queue two split leaderboards. I think it's important that we tighten in the matchmaking, one full rank, plus or minus. So, you know, expert beginner, expert veteran, veteran ultra, veteran expert, um, masters ultra. I think that we need to have five classes. Make it longer, make it take a time, make it take time to get to those higher ranks. It needs to, it needs to be an investment. It needs to be something that we persevere and get into. The ranked system should be about the journey not just the destination uh, it should be about getting to it like truly earning it and feeling good about that not just having it just because you played a little bit so extend the system make it longer make it harder have these best three promos give some severity give some some meaning to the games that you're playing because i want to win i want to win a best of three series that sounds awesome get me into masters 100 points and let me earn that position. Let me hold on to it. Or let me fall out if I don't. And then, of course, the last little bit, which again, not sure if it's the best thing, the rank decay. Minus 10 points per day you don't play. I think it's simple. If you go a 24-hour window and you don't play the game, come on now. You got you to gotta put some time into the system, right? Maybe, maybe even it could even be like minus 15, minus 20 points per two days. So that way it's like a little bit more of a grace period. So that way, like if you have to take a day off, maybe it won't penalize you yet, but it's per two days. I don't know. That's totally hypothetical. This whole thing is hypothetical, but I am very curious to hear your thoughts. I want the ranked mode to be good. I don't want a ranked mode where we can all hit masters and it means nothing. I know that we want to be masters. I know that you want to be masters. I want to be masters. But do you want to be masters if it means nothing? Do you want to play ranked if the game quality is bad? Or would you rather have a system like this? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. This is something I'm really passionate about. And the reason why is this is the longevity of the game for me. I need this system to work. I need this system to be good and to be fun and to be fair. And I think extending out how much time, requiring more consistency, tightening the matchmaking, making it feel truly like a real ranked mode is uh is the way to go so as always friends thank you so much for your time i definitely do appreciate it if you're new drop a sub and like the video i would definitely love to have you be sure to be kind to one another tell someone that you love them and i'll see you on the next video